What's up, what's up, y'all? It's me, Snoop Red, and welcome back to my channel. We're going I'm gonna go to this place today, so I'm just gonna have a little bit of story time until it's time for me to go inside. So this one is very serious, you guys. So I have a little story that I want to tell about what just happened to me recently, like might as well say yesterday. It was I currently I got exposed from someone so I'm about to tell y'all all about it before I get ready to go it was freaking crazy you guys I literally got exposed yesterday for no reason I didn't do anything wrong it's just the person was really stupid so let me tell y'all this is how it all started okay so yesterday I'm just minding my business right and I look on my Facebook and my ex-girlfriend texts me, hey. So, you know, me and her still cool to this day. So I text her back, hey. But before I get into that, um, her page was already, was already has been hacked. She said, my page has been hacked. She made a whole new page and everything. So when the person texts me, hey, I said, hey, back, because I'm thinking that her page is back active again. So I said, hey, back, and the person said, they didn't even say nothing else. They, they literally sent something about cash out money or something right after I said, hey. So I automatically knew it was a scammer. Y'all know how we got these Facebook scammers hacking people's pages, asking people for money and stuff? That's what she was trying to do. So I said, this ain't, I said, this is not, this is not her because I said, I said, this is not her because um, she wouldn't even, I said, she don't even ask me for money. I mean, if she wanted to, if she asked me for money, she asked me directly. And we got each other's number and stuff like that. And she has a whole different Facebook. And she did tell me that that, that person was hacked. She did tell me that her page has been hacked, but I'm thinking it's still active. So that's why I say, hey, back or whatever. And so the girl sent something on, about, ca on, about cash out. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know how these scammers be on your on your Facebook asking you uh, give them a hundred dollars and you get this in return and stuff like that. It's either that or they want you to give up your Facebook account. So yeah, so you know, I conversated with her. I said hey back, whatever. And then I don't know how the, the argument started or what made her mad. Oh, she got mad because I said this is a fake. Oh, I said this is fake. I know you're a, you scamming asshole or something like, I forgot what I said, but I called her a scammer. So right after I called her a scammer, the person, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but the person got mad. The person got so mad that they, um, what they did? Oh, they started, uh, okay, so a couple of weeks or months, a month ago, me and, and the real person was texting and we were sending each other uh I was sending her pictures of my private areas. Like, I was sending her some nudes, you know, my private area and stuff, my private body and stuff like that, you know. Before her page got hacked, that's what we was doing. She was asking me for pictures and videos, and so I sent it back to her. So that was before she got hacked. So all of a sudden, that same day that I was sending her pictures and videos, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, text her no more for some reason. So I'm like, I know she's not going to block me. I said, this is my ex. This is somebody I'm still cool with to this day. So I'm like, I know she's, I know she's not, I know she didn't block me or nothing, but I'm like, what the heck is going on? It wouldn't let me text her. It wouldn't let me call her. It wouldn't let me do anything. So I'm steady trying to call her off the Facebook. Then I tried to look for her number. At first I couldn't find her number or nothing. So I'm like, dang, I hope she ain't get mad at me. Or I hope my pictures wasn't ugly. I hope my videos wasn't ugly or nothing. So I said, it can't be that. I said, she wouldn't block me. As many times she told me she would block me, she didn't block me. So I'm sitting around confused. Like, what the heck just happened? What did I do? So I'm thinking I'm blocked the whole time. I'm like, oh, snap. I hope I didn't piss her off. I hope my pictures and stuff wasn't ugly. But no, that wasn't the case. They Somebody hacked her page. Like I said, I thought I was blocked the whole time because the reason why I know they hacked the page is because she inboxed me and she she inboxed me from her new Facebook and she was like, they hacked my page. I was like, oh, snap. So 
I didn't think that that person was going to text me. So like I said, the person texted me, inboxed me on Facebook, and they was like, hey, what's up? Hey, and I said, hey, back. So as soon as I seen the money part, I'm like, oh, no, this is not real. I said the real Nunu wouldn't even ask me for money like that. The real person wouldn't even ask me for money like that. So um, so we going back and forth a little bit. I didn't even cuss her out. I didn't call her no names or nothing. I just kept telling her, how. You, why do you need money that bad? I said, I do not have any money to put down. So this is what she kept saying. She kept saying, if I put 120 down on my cash app, then, you know what I'm saying, she will stop. I said, well, I don't have any money. So she said, okay, well, I'm going to expose you. So at first, I didn't know what she was talking about. She talking about, so when she said she was going to expose me, she was saying that, so this is what she said. She said, okay, so I'm going to send all the, I got all your pictures, your naked pictures and your naked videos and stuff. I'm going to send this to people on your Facebook. I said, I don't care, send it. I said, matter of fact, let me help you send them. I don't care. I don't care about you sending those to people. So she, at first, I didn't think she was going to do that. I thought she was going to give me a chance. No, baby, she didn't give me no chance. She literally sent, was starting to send them. So she'll send send the videos and naked pictures and stuff, the news to uh, random people on my Facebook that I didn't even really know. So she would send it and screenshot it and show me that she sent it to them. I'm like, I don't care. Keep sending them. What are you showing me for? keep sending them baby i don't give a fuck i said i hope they i hope i look nice to them i hope they like it so i'm, I'm i ain't gonna lie i'm in the middle of moving we're we, we over here in the middle of moving and this bitch messing with me the devil just getting to me that day everything going smooth and you sitting there sending my news to everybody so i've been exposed they've started sending it to everybody i said at the end of the day i don't even care because guess what somebody something you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I don't, I've always had a character where I don't give a fuck what people think or say about me. So if I'm trying to get out there and be famous anyway, so if that's going to help me be famous, then go ahead. Make me famous. Send them. Send them. Send them. I said, keep sending them to whoever you want. I said, I don't care. She said, if you just corroborate, cooperate with me, whatever. She said, if I corroborate, corroborate with her, or however how you say that word, then I'll stop. I said, you're going to have to keep on doing it because don't nobody have no money. So what she mean by that is if I send her some kind of money, then she'll stop. I said, I don't give, I, like I said, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but it had to be a woman because women get, take things more seriously and get more emotional with things. A man probably would have, would have felt a little bit bad. So yeah, so she didn't give a fuck. She was sending, I, and I'm going to show y'all some little screenshots. I'm not going to show y'all my body parts, but I'm going to show y'all some screenshots of her doing that to me. Oh, matter of fact, I don't even think I have them. I think I do. I'm not mistaken. But at, maybe at the end of the video, I'll show y'all. So this lady was just, this person that was hacking her page was just being so disrespectful, so mean, so rude. I said, I said, what is that going to do to, I said, even if you send those to people and stuff, what is that going to do to help you? I said, at the end of the day, you're going to get your karma for that. I said, all everybody going to do. Okay, when people be sending me news of other people and be trying to expose people and stuff, I just look at them. I don't even look at the videos. I just look at the message and just be like, bye. Or I block them or something. So I'm pretty sure 9 out of 10, 10 she, some people probably just looked at it and was like, okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, I know her, whatever. Because most of it, she just went, she was sending it to people in alphabetical order. Like, mostly everybody started with an A. So that's how I know she was just going down the line. So far, I don't think she sent it to people that I know. So I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you doing that? Why do you have to do that to, to, to be mean to somebody? So I got exposed. My private areas, all my stuff is probably all out there right now. But I don't care. That's the sad part about it. I, when I said I don't care about you sending those pictures, I really didn't care. But I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like it wasn't bothering me. It did bother me. At the end of the day, it did bother me. It did make me upset, so I ended up um, inboxing the real person. And I'm not going to put their name out there like that because it's not nobody's business. So everybody on my Facebook know who I'm talking about. Half of them people didn't even know that was my ex. But anyways, so, yeah. So, um, 
I ended up texting a real person. I, I was mad. I'm yelling and screaming. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm not yelling and screaming at that person. I'm yelling and screaming. So I'm like, this this girl just sent all my naked videos and stuff. And it wasn't me all the way naked. It was, it was my down area, my down here area, and my, I don't know, just mostly that. But I said, you know what? I don't even give a fuck. Go ahead, send it. Everybody know already, so I don't give a fuck. So that's the whole point. She's going to get her karma for that. Because I even talked to the real person. And she was like, well, just block her and report her. I know you're not going off of me about it. Why are you going off of me about it? I said, I'm not going off of you. I'm just letting you know that this girl just sent all my fucking private parts to, to random people. So far, nobody that I know inboxed me and said anything about it. Because after she did it, I took those screenshots, the, the same screenshots, and I sent it to the same people that she sent it to. And I was like, look, if y'all see this person, just block her. She's, she's sending my nudes to everybody. I don't care. Whatever. Send them. I, I really hope that they look nice. It's not like my body is ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's like nothing wrong with it. I didn't do nothing disgusting on there or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, go ahead. Send it. Make me famous. I want to be famous. If I have to be fam get famous by you sending nudes, go ahead. But guess what? At the end of the day, your karma is going to be here. That's going to be your karma. You're the one that's going to get yours at the end of the day. That's why I didn't argue with her because I knew it was just the devil trying to get at me, trying to get me all riled up and upset. Because once I'm upset and I'm angry, it's kind of hard to calm me down and stop me and stuff. So, yeah, it didn't even hurt me. I ain't going to lie. It did get to me. I'm like, what the fuck? I can't believe she really did it. That Whoever that is really did that. So I shouldn't even have felt for it. I shouldn't even have felt for the shit. But I don't care. At the end of the day, whatever it happened, whatever whatever happened, it happened. She sent it to people. I don't give a fuck. Hopefully I get famous off of it. I don't give a fuck if I have to get famous off of just new, my own news. I would do that. So y'all, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I have been exposed. And I hope everybody have a good year. And if this is how my year is going to start, then let it start like that. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let nobody bring me down. I don't care what you what you thought you did, it, but it's not going to hurt me. It's going to hurt you at the end of the day. For one, you're going to end up getting, Facebook's going to end up blocking you because you're sending news to people. You're not even supposed to do that. That's called harassment. You're not even supposed to be doing stuff like that, sending people naked. I mean, if it's a private, if they ask for it and stuff. Because I don't know anything about Facebook um, deleting or blocking people from sending news. Because, like, any of my girlfriends that I talk to, I always send them news and stuff. Anybody that I was with, I always send them news and stuff like that. So, they ain't ever blocked us, me from sending news. So, they might not do nothing to her. It might not be nothing to do. I just want to know who the fuck is hacking her page. But I really don't care. I had people do that to me, too. Hack my page and will ask me for money. But I never had nobody take it that far. So, that shit was just crazy. But... It wasn't off it wasn't off my page it was off her my ex-girlfriend's page so yeah y'all so thanks for joining my channel you guys make sure you like and subscribe and i will have screenshots or whatever it, i might have screenshots at the end of this video thank you guys so much you have a good day